Hey, hey fam, Sky Hanley here from Goddess Business Unleashed. Uh, matching the backdrop today, how is that? I only just noticed this a second ago when I started blending in like here, yeah, it's amazing. I actually have the matching tights on too, but that is a conversation for another day. If you are new to uh, my channel, please hit the subscribe button wherever that may be so that you can stay up to date with all of the amazing videos that we're putting out at the moment. And this one I'm super fucking psyched about um, because I'm so lit up right now, all right? And let me use a different phrase, right? I'm so fucking turned on right now. And I know that that sounds like a really, we're like, oh my gosh, she's turned on. Like, what does she mean? Like, Jesus, you know? But it's not that, all right? I am so fucking lit up because I just did something so fucking fun. And the thing is that often we sit far too in trigger, all right? Um... Um, you know, we sit in trigger for things. And so we're so used to feeling our own oh, scarcity. We're so used to feeling our own, um, you know, fear and, and, and hypersensitivity or worry or, you know, we're addicted to all of these negative emotions. Um, and so it's so interesting when we actually step into, you know, feeling turned on. And what I mean by turned on is that you can see it. You can see I'm full of passion right now. You can see that I'm full of excitement just because I want to bring this video video to you, right? Um, you can see that I am lit up and you can see that I am radiating in my matching backdrop outfit, whatever that is about. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And so what I wanted to tell you, what I just did, let me give you some backstory here because I'm going to invite you to do something that lights you up as well. And I'm not talking about the the boring, you know, mundane day-to-day -day kind of stuff that you're used to just going, oh yeah, maybe I'll do that. All right. Like we're stepping out of comfort zones today. So maybe be ready to be triggered. Okay. You're welcome. I'm here to trigger you. So ages ago, let me tell you a story. Ages ago, um, you know, there's this amazing, um, you know, woman that I follow. Um, uh, she is just a fuck yes goddess as well. I love to, um, you know, just chime in and see all the different things that she's up to. Her name is Kezia Lee. Uh, you know, I, I need to not be triggered as a business person to give you her name. Fucking follow her, right? Um, she's fantastic. Anyway, I, 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 um, she makes a lot of videos and she makes a lot of posts and I, you know, I'm always looking at them, loving on them, you know, all that kind of thing. And I clicked on one one day and she's literally just there singing and just, just singing, you know? And I was a bit like, oh, like, whoa, <laughs> like, you know, blah, like, okay, that's a bit, you know, all righty then kind of thing. And I actually switched it up because I was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't need to sit here and watch that. Like, no, thank you. That's, that's cute. Or that's a bit odd or that, I don't know. It made me fucking uncomfortable. And to be honest with you, you know, for me, that's a, that's a, not an alarm bell. It's a sign. And I go, oh, okay, that's really interesting. Why did that make me uncomfortable? Right. And I actually had that happen twice because she apparently just sings randomly on lives, you know, on and off all the time, just in the middle of like teaching you like this, she'll honestly just bust out into song and um anyway um and anyway I was like all right that's really interesting you know why am I so triggered by this and to be honest with you I couldn't really think of an exact answer which is odd for me because I'm I, you know I'm always trying to find the solution trying to find the answer you know this is one of the the identities that I run I probably should make a video for you guys on identities because we're all running patterns and identities so for me I'm like what's the answer what's the solution why is this triggering me what's coming up and I actually couldn't put my finger on, finger on it, right? And I was like, ah, oh, that's so weird. Anyway, Kezia, same human, posted something one day, you know, like maybe a week after, like the last time I'd seen a video that triggered me of her singing. And she said, which one? And I'm like, she will, she can be bent over having people eating donuts off her butt, right? So, so she, and I've seen her as well. Let me tell you another story. I saw um, another photo and she literally said, Bear with me, everyone. She literally said, spot the dildo. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, what do you mean? Spot the dildo? Like, oh my gosh. And it's this photo. And literally she had this giant dildo tied into the back of her hair and like, and it was just sticking out the end there. And I was like, okay, wow, right? Anyway, and so she posted one day and literally it was just a little word post that said, tell me which of my um, recent, you know, videos or pictures or posts or something like that has triggered you. And I was like, you yeah, know, the dildo one didn't. I just thought that was a bit fun and a bit funny, you know, and, and the same with, you know, getting donuts eaten off her butt and stuff like that. I was like, all right, whatever, you know, she's just all about the fun and the play and those kinds of things. And and to be honest with you, you know, let me not, um, let me not downplay it. She's all about stepping into, you know, stepping past fear, stepping through fear and understanding that life is happening for us and that we can't fuck it up. All right. So anyway, she did that post and I was like, 
oh my gosh, you singing. Like her singing literally is the videos that like triggers me. And I'm like, I don't know why, like, what is that about? And being the human I am, I went, oh crap. Like I'm going to have to do one of those, aren't I? Because what happens is that on the other side of our fear, on the other side of, you know, difficulty, on the other side of trigger or anxiety or worry or whatever might be coming up for us, that is where the fucking magic happens. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I'm actually going to have to do a live video, you know, singing, right? Because I was like, because I don't get it. It like, I don't fully understand. I don't know why it triggers me. And, and, you know, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm just going to have to fucking do it because on the other side of that, you know, magic is going to happen. I trust, I believe, I know that to be true. And so literally one day, you guys, I just, I just went live. I literally went live on Facebook and you can, if you head over to my personal um, profile, if you're not my friend, befriend me for sure. And, you know, scroll down and, um, and I went live and I went live singing, uh, what song was it from the greatest showman? Um, this is me, right? Look out, cause here I come. Da, 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 da. And I fucking forgot the words through it. This is me, na, 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 who I meant to be. This is me, right? Like, and I did it. And it was a bit like, like I said, I fucking forgot the words. I was like nervous as shit. And I'm not used to being like, to be honest with you, mm, yeah, look, some things make me nervous. Jumping on here like this doesn't so much. So for me to be sitting in some nervousness, because I was like, oh my God, I'm so fucking raw. People are going to hear me sing. Like, what is that? How, they, you know, I feel uncomfortable, which is going to make people fucking feel uncomfortable on the other side of the video too, right? And I was like, uh, like, you know, and I did it anyway. I saw fear. I sat in fear, I sat in trigger, you know, and I and I also sat in trust and trust in the understanding that on the other side of my comfort zone, on the other side of this thing that was triggering me. And yes, like it might not seem like much, right? Like, and, and maybe to some of you, it like is like fucking epic, you know, maybe you're not doing live videos at the moment. And so getting on there and actually singing when you're like, oh my God, like I can't even sing or how judgy, what do I even do? I don't know words, like whatever, right? Like, I, you know, maybe I look crap. I match the background, like all this noise that kind of goes on in our head sometimes, like maybe I'm triggering you right now in like, you know, in telling you this story. But that was kind of the point, you know, to sit in fear and to do it anyway, to be nervous and to still fucking show up, right? Because on the other side of that, the magic happens. And guess what's so funny, you know, on the other side of doing that video and, you know, I, I look, I'm not one to look back and judge my own videos too much. Honestly, I, I just kind of don't. I trust that they serve. I can judge that one a little bit, let me tell you. I can sit here and go, oh my lord, that was not the greatest. Like, I, I, you know, and and yeah, I, I've done acting, I've done singing um, before. I'm not an amazing singer. And that's not me being judgy. It's just, you know, years out of practice, right? Um, and, and I watch the video and I see how nervous I am. And it's funny to see myself in that kind of vulnerable, weird, like, state on camera. Like, you know, but but it's truth. And it was real. And the funniest thing happened that I got off the end of that video and I fucking couldn't wait to do the next one. I was like, oh my God, yes. Like, you know, that was hilarious or that was funny or that was freeing, you know, that was freeing. I stepped through fear and I did it anyway. And guess what? I'm still safe and I'm still enough and I'm still worthy and I'm still fucking magnificent as we all are. It is patterns and paradigms that get in the way and get in our head and somehow tell us that we are not good enough. Tell us that we have somehow embarrassed ourselves or we should feel guilty or that we should feel shame or that people are going to judge us or we're judging ourselves is generally what's happening, right? And all of that, look, anything that is not love is not you, right? Anything that is not love is not you. So if it's fear, it's programming, all right? It's, it's fight and flight in our head saying, no, you can't do that. You can't do that because something bad's going to happen. I'm still here. I did that a while ago now. You know, I'm just telling you this story now. And guess why I'm telling you this story now and why I am sitting here lit up as fuck, radiating, you know, in turn on, as in I am switched on, I am alive, I am, you know, I am radiance incarnate. The reason that I am sitting here is because guess what? I just fucking did it again, right? Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street lights. People
I literally just sung to that song, right? And I fucking love that song, you know? What a random one, you know, old, like, hit, but it's so fucking fun to just, you know, jack it up, jack up the volume, sing as loudly as we can, you know? It's fun. It, like, to me, it's fun, right? Like, to me, it's fun to sing loudly. It's freeing to get, you know, clear the fucking throat chakra, right? Like, get the words, get the sound out there and be open and expressive and feel and radiate. And the thing is that in this day and age, we don't radiate enough right? I actually, let me go on a side tangent for a second. You know, my partner and I, we often have conversations, right? Like, and, and it's really funny. Like he, when we first got together many years ago now, I don't think he got this about me and we now have language around it. So, so that we can have these conversations that he understands and, and all the rest of it anyway. So for me, like, I don't, you know, I like to go out for, you know, a dinner on the odd occasion sort of thing, like with family and friends and to celebrate and we, you know, whatever the excuse or reason is. And, you know, and because it lights me up, but it's not just sitting as in eating a delicious meal, being a fucking glutton, you know, having a, having a cocktail or something, you know, dressed up, feeling like fucking superior to everyone. It's, it's not that by any means. It is the excitement and the anticipation of going, yes, we get to go do something fun and I get to get dressed up and I get to put on something pretty and, you know, and I can wear nice bright colors because that makes me feel alive and I get to wear my hair out because to me, this is me, right? You know, I have eyelashes on and all of that amazing stuff because to me, that makes me feel radiant. I am not doing that for anyone else, right? If I was doing any of this for anyone else, do you think that this background would be as wild as it is? Do you think I would literally be, I'm, you know, if I stood up right now, my pants, you know, match this top. I am in a fucking, it's like a onesie going on right here, right? I do this stuff for me. And the thing is, in this day and age, we don't celebrate our own radiance enough. We don't celebrate being lit up as fuck, being turned on in life, being expressive, being passionate. We think we need to ask for permission or we have to dampen our sparkle to fit someone else's comfort zone. Because we don't want to trigger them. So, oh, you know, like, you know, I, I, my, my partner, you know, Michael is, you know, a bit more introverted than I am and, you know, um, and, and, you know, not sort of used to going out, you know, to a beautiful dinner or having a cocktail or hanging out with a whole bunch of people. And here I am, this sparkly motherfucker, you know, like adorned and dressed up and colorful and all the different things. And, and thank God it doesn't trigger him. He's, you know, he's all for it. He's like, you know, if that's what lights you up, like fucking beautiful, amazing, like you're gorgeous, do it, you know, like bless him. And, and we don't celebrate that stuff enough. We worry that, you know, oh my gosh, if I have a top that just comes down here a little bit, maybe you'll see some, you know, the tiniest little bit of cleavage and that could trigger someone and I don't want to be called a slut. And so I'll just cover myself up. Like, where is this showing up in your life, right? Like, where are we playing small to stay either in our own comfort zones, to not step through fear, you know, or, or to, you know, stay away from discomfort either ourselves or if you are a good girl, you know, or a ple people pleaser, you know, not wanting to rock the boat, not wanting, you know, to uh, make other people feel uncomfortable because you radiate a little bit too bright and, and you know, maybe you should just beige yourself out. Fuck that shit, right? Fuck it. You know, be you. Light the fuck up. Lean into what makes you feel uncomfortable. Because I promise you, as I've said already, what happens on the other side of you stepping through your own fear, through you leaning into the difficulty, right? That is where the magic happens. So if you want to invite more magic into your life, that is my invite for you today is think of something that maybe it scares the shit out of you, whatever that is, right? Maybe it is just going on and doing a live video or something like that. Maybe it is wearing some more brighter colors because, because they make you feel good. Maybe it is, you know, going out and having a nice dinner and, you know, and dressing up and the anticipation. And I don't know, like whatever it is for you, I feel like that one's maybe a little safe, maybe, maybe too safe just going out to dinner, right? But, but get wild. Whatever your version of wild is, you don't have to wear like tropical backgrounds that seem to match the, you know, whatever this and that, right? Like it's whatever is pushes your edges. Singing on a live video, fucking push my edges, right? And so I did it anyway, because I knew and I trusted and I sat in faith that magic would happen. 
And so here we are having this conversation, you know, where I am now inviting you to do the same. Maybe that is, you know, doing a live video where you're singing to a song that's fucking jacked up and I'm dancing like, you know, I, I honestly, I look like some somebody's mum or something like that, just dancing like, you know, 80s style or something like that. It's oh, whatever, whatever, right? Stop with the judgment, stop with the judgment. It's okay, I'm okay, right? But it lit me up. And then I wanted to come here and make this video for you right now. And I'm going to repeat it one more time. This is your invite. This is your sign. Step out of your comfort zone. Step into fear and do it anyway. Lean into the difficulty. All right? Because on the other side of that, once you've done it, you'll be like, yes, I fucking did that thing. I got up and sung on a live video. And that might not seem massive or maybe that seems gigantic to you, whatever it is. But for me, it was like, wow, that's really pushing my edges. So we did it anyway. I'd love to see in the comments what you're doing anyway. Um, if you are not in my um, amazing uh, Facebook community group, um, which is uh, Goddess Business Unleashed, um, jump in there as well as, you know, finding us um, on our podcast um, as well with the same name, Goddess Business Unleashed. We are fucking unleashing the business goddess in you um, every single day with every single video, with every single podcast, with every single post, um, every single day. I think I said that already. Okay, it's time to go. Love you guys. Bye.